You married a schlub. And you're so stuck on the to death to us part that you won't admit it. Pull the plug. He'd tell you to do it himself if he weren't a vegetable. Three, two, one. I swear to freaking God, I will gouge your eyes out. If something happens to her, I'll kill you. Get your hands off of me. I just don't understand, Richard. My number one employee. What compelled you to make such a decision? Did it make you feel powerful to sully the integrity of this office? Well? Uh, no, sir. We crave order and structure, Richard. Don't get distracted from the task at hand. Of course, sir. I know you from the clothing store on St. Mark's. Sorry, was I interrupting something? No, 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 it's okay. That guy's such a fucking creep. I mean, thank you. Yeah, no, I've seen you around. I've seen you on St. Mark's. I've seen you play ball, too. You're good. And I couldn't find him. He went to the ER, but they didn't help him. I guess because he had no medical and he went home and I, he didn't answer my. Really sorry it took so long to get here. It's just... Oh, it's fine. It's cool. going to be great. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Carmine? Yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss. Some man thought I was his property, spoke pretty to me for a while. Game and ass things made me feel wanted. Then, well, then he understood he could make money if and I was on my back for any man. I ran, but he found me. Gave me that. Made sure no good man would ever want me again. <laughs> 